A Texas state senator is calling for lawmakers to reopen the impeachment of Attorney General Ken Paxton. North Texas Republican Drew Springer says it's because he believes Paxton is admitting guilt in the whistleblower lawsuit against his office. Senator Springer is joining us now live this afternoon. Senator, we appreciate you being here. Well, it's great to be with you. You know, I went back in the record to look at how you voted during the trial itself, and you voted to acquit Ken Paxton on every single charge that he faced uh, during that time. And so it's maybe seeming surprising that you are now calling potentially to reopen the impeachment proceedings now four months later. Why do this now? Well, there's been a new uh, set of facts that have come up. Last week, Ken Paxton filed with the court a document saying he accepted all of the whistleblower's claims and it, to just set what the damages should be. Uh, that's an admission of guilt. Uh, he then came out publicly and said, well, I'm trying to settle it. It's not really an admission of guilt, but that is what it is. So we have a new set of facts. We were told all during leading up to the trial and the trial that he was completely innocent. He spent more time avoiding being deposed than if he would have just sat down truthfully answered the questions if he did nothing wrong, had nothing to worry about, and the taxpayers wouldn't be on the hook for the money. Senator, you did say that, again, that if the state is on the hook to potentially pay out millions to these former employees who are now suing Paxton, then he does need to answer questions under oath. What difference do you think a deposition now will make, uh, given that your vote suggests that you had a lot of skepticism about what the evidence suggested during the impeachment trial? You know, de deposition, we never heard from Ken Paxton. He'd always said he wanted his day to tell his side of the story. We've never, he never heard it. We only heard from his lawyers. Uh, and there was enough doubt, and it was beyond a reasonable doubt, was the standard that was set. And knowing that, it didn't quite reach that. There was a little bit of gray and a little bit of concern. But now that we have an admission in a court document, that really just changes things. And Texans deserve to know that their top law enforcement officer is not a crook and hasn't done anything wrong. I do want to point out that you are not going to seek re-election to your Texas Senate seat. And I'm curious <clears throat> if that factored at all about your decision to make this very public statement about potentially relitigating or even reopening the impeachment. It did not. I would have done it either way if I was running or not running. Uh, you know, these facts deserved the merit. I've talked to scores of fellow legislators that feel the same way that once you made this admission, you were basically saying you were guilty of what the whistleblowers were accusing you of, which was what Article 6 and some of the other articles in the impeachment were about. Have you heard from any of your other senators about their reactions to these court filings that Paxton made? I've heard from a handful of them. Um, and, and they're very troubled with them as well. But, um, you know, we'll see where it goes. Part of the reason for the letter, though, was to see if we can even open the trial again without having to go back to the House and start the whole process again. Now, while I still have you, I just want to run by what Ken Paxton <clears throat> shared with us. Uh, he told us this right here. He said, quote, Springer has to leave the Senate because he was such a bad senator, was not going to get reelected and needed a job. Why should anyone listen to his sour grapes? Care to respond? Yeah, absolutely. Look, uh, I was one of the top rated conservatives, both in the House and the Senate, all six terms that I served. Uh, I would have easily won re-election. You know, and it's sort of, you know, a slam on Texans that have to go to work every day and make an honest living. You know, I didn't get rich being in politics. I need to go back and, and work. We get paid $600 a month. I don't think there's anything wrong with serving your state and then go back and making a living with that. Uh, he has figured out how to get rich in office and actually refuses to show his personal financial disclosures showing where he has made all these big investments, all while working for a paltry state employee salary.